advertisement was great. I love this company. Man, that company's not that great. Why do you love it? Well, it's a worldwide brand that has many people investing in its stocks. The longer they hold their stocks, the greater their returns. Coca-Cola has about 4.3 billion shares, and each share is sold at $45, which makes the market capitalization about $193 billion. Also, asset value is like $94 billion, minus their liabilities, which is about $48 billion. So their net worth is $26.8 billion. A company with that value sounds like a good company to me. In April 1999, a class action lawsuit was filed against Coca-Cola for racial discrimination. They provided statistics that showed the median salary for African American employees were one third less than that of whites within the company. In the year 2000, Coca-Cola agreed to a $192 million settlement. In the settlement agreement, Coca-Cola denied the allegations but agreed to make changes to its personnel policies and procedures. Well, the Coca-Cola Foundation helped grant people scholarships. For example, Georgia State was awarded $1.3 million for a couple of scholarship programs, one called Coca-Cola First Generation Scholars that assists students who are the first in their family to go to college, and Coca-Cola Global Ambassador Scholarship allowed business students who aim to gain knowledge about leadership and global market to study abroad. In November of 2016, workers came together and organized an independent union. On February 21st of 2017, management of Coca-Cola informed their chairman, Luffy Arianto, he was to transfer from the Baldwin plant to a sales office in Maduin. This would prevent him from being able to exercise his rights to represent the union, so he refused. On November 21st, he was formally terminated. Coca-Cola is such a bad company, man. No, it's not. It's a good company. <laughs> so, I'm going to stop the fight a bit just to talk about Coca-Cola's history with you guys. So Coca-Cola began in 1886 by a pharmacist named John Pepperton. He created various drugs, but many of them were not successful enough for him to make a living. Once he began a new life in Atlanta, Georgia, he decided to take a different approach by joining the beverage industry. During this time, soda machines were the new uprising that was very popular. So he created the world famous Coca-Cola drink. Sadly, it was not as famous as it is today due to his lack of marketing. During the first year he released the drink, uh, the word did not spread fast enough to make sales. In fact, only nine bottles were sold in a day during this time. That's only 3,285 drinks for the entire year. John Pepperton passed away in 1888. In 1891, a man named Asa Griggs Candler becomes the new owner and saves the business. He hired salesmen to give out coupons for free Coca-Cola to try and he put the Coca-Cola logos on other products like calendars and notebooks. That is how this worldwide drink became the Coca-Cola that we know today. Consumers across the world enjoy about 19,000 Coke products per second. So here are some brands that Coca-Cola owns. I know how to speak this way. I'm gonna call Milo. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what he has to say. Hey Rosen, what's up? Coca-Cola has adopted a franchise model in which Coca-Cola distributes its trademark syrup to local entrepreneurs across the world, who are then responsible for bottling and distributing the final products. As Coca-Cola is such a global brand operated in 206 countries with over 120,000 associates and 700,000 employees, they are a diverse company. Even their board members are relatively diverse. The CEO from 2008 until May 2017 was Turkish American, and of the 13 other board members, five were women, and of those five women, two were African American and one was Hispanic. Coca-Cola is a company known for its benchmark marketing and business plan. Since its conception, Coca-Cola has made several decisions in marketing strategy regarding consistency, branding, positioning, and socialization with its consumers. Coca-Cola's consistency can be seen from its logo design to its bottle, which hasn't been changed since 1886. And every slogan is kept simple, revolving around the terms enjoy and happiness. Branding has been key since the beginning. Coca-Cola is arguably the most renowned logo globally. In 2016, they spent roughly $565 million on advertising in the U.S. and $3.3 billion globally. Positioning and socialization are its most successful strategies of its business plan, though. 
Coca-Cola didn't position itself as a product, but rather as an experience of happiness and joy. This is seen in its iconic advertising ideas such as, I'd like to buy the world a Coke and share a Coke. And unlike other big companies, Coca-Cola works to maintain its position as a social brand by staying in touch with its consumers. One major way it does this is through social media platforms. Coca-Cola has verified Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Pinterest, and Facebook accounts it uses to reach consumers daily. The company is structured in a way where there are five divisions, Eurasia and Africa, Europe, Latin America, North America, and Asia Pacific. They also do not bottle their own drinks they distribute. Their bottling to bottling facilities, each facility is independently owned. Coca-Cola will only allow the top management to make decisions. Some important decisions that Coca-Cola had to make were package positioning, trade discounts, advertisements, price reductions, and distributions.